Welcome to the game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. Back at you with some Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. And ladies and gentlemen, look at this. We have the one border Russia and Scandinavia through Rhine. You can't make that up, ladies and gentlemen. That's insane. We also have a one border Orient right here. We're going to ignore all of it because we have no good capital spots in that area and cap here. When there are crazy blizzards like this, sometimes a legit strategy is to try to ignore it and expand elsewhere around the board and smash through the rest of it. Here, the white player looks like they're going for Eastern Europe. That's hilarious. Because we have a split Eastern Europe this game as well, which is also extremely rare. The danger is if the blue player overextends attacking, the white player in the following move will place everything on the four. They'll take the capital. Then white will have a one border or a Russia the rest of the game while having the extra bonus of Eastern Europe. They would then proceed to, on the following turn, push forward to take over through here. And then white would then almost be certainly dominating the game. This game is dependent upon Blue not being an idiot. However, most people in this game, because they don't play like 2,000 hours plus like me, can be dummies. Well, Sage of Fire, I could have capped um, on Vienna. But there's a high chance that someone could have tried to take my capital away. Yeah, it looks like Blue's just attacking a little bit much here. Ah, Okay, at least Blue's going on capital. Um, blue is at least keeping themselves like a safe. Has 200 hours. He has, I have 2,000 hours, not 200. In any case here, we're just going to focus now on taking over our bonus. And holding it down very safely with a 9. White just gets 6. Okay, that's big. White is not holding the bonus. So maybe someone broke white because they realized that they were too strong. That's really good. Now, orange is a bot, right? So orange is going to make it harder for blue to be getting their area. So who is potentially capped down in, like, in this area of the board? I'm thinking on my next move, I go off of Alps and I attack outwards like this way. To try to take another bonus while getting vision of what's going on. If black, if blue is like the only one truly capped in one border Russia, then we potentially go for it. Like we know pink is going for this bonus, right? They're probably capped uh, down here. Purple gets 10, so purple has Spain. Purple is playing a very reasonable game for themselves. They cannot uh, take over their bonus on this move. Well, they'll probably take it on a future turn. Yeah, so now blue is going off and attacking. Uh, they just attacked hard. Oh, wow. Wow. They just went crazy aggressive. How much do they have on capital? I'm risking that. I'm risking it. Ah, they have too much. I thought they were weak. Turns out they were actually stronger than I realized. Honestly, blue, I mean, stopping blue from holding Russia right away, I think is kind of important. Because if they get that bonus, they're going to push and they're going to get like a uh, really, really strong. Orange leaving a spot here every turn is important right now. Pink still needs one more turn. But honestly, like, pink getting, like, um, like, pink has a normal spot, right? Like, I'm not too worried uh, about pink. So now pink has her orient uh, for the rest of the game. And, like, that's fine, right? We know that white doesn't really have uh, much going for them the rest of this game because they can no longer hold Eastern Europe. They're in a tough spot. Purple um, is about to be taking over West Africa. I don't think I want to go into war with them because I only want to be making one enemy per time. And also, they're, they're going really slow. They still need another turn before they can take it for themselves. The blue just gets five. 
we know that's everything they have on capital now. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. They can't clear us out, I don't think. They can't clear us out. Yeah, so they're, they're being safe going back uh, on to capital for themselves right now. So our priority is we just want to be taking over more. We're giving a fist pound to white, saying you can take that, bro. Why did blue not cap here, by the way? That was such a better life choice. And that's the bot capital. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's the bot capital. Oh, my gosh. Wow, if we take that capital, we have the god spot, and then we can then complete crush and take this game. White's getting nine here. However, I'm expecting pink to be behind them. They can break if they want, whatever. Sure, white can take that. It's like pink is still getting six. Like white just basically said F you to my face. At the same time, like, purple has to be taking over the bonus now. I, I think I, I just let purple hold. Like, I'm really glad uh, that I was holding the um the blue player back here. Yeah, is purple's still not taking the bonus. Like, come on, man. Yeah, purple is not good. I just leave purple alone. Blue is still just getting five. Yeah, so blue is still waiting and holding right now. We are just going to be on our turn, taking this capital away. Good roll, two. So white does have a lot here. Again, I'm not hitting them right now. So we have the most powerful capital on the board right now. The danger is, is that the blue player is right behind us. White here might start being a jerk and trying to break, potentially. Okay, that's white. We stop them right on time. We stop white right on time. White's just holding everything. White's at least, though, not getting crazy against us and breaking our Italy. They understand that. Pick now gets 13. That's good. This is, means they're going to start breaking white. We want to start clearing the pink player out of the board. From ourselves if possible oh my gosh this game is so freaking dynamic right now i'm thinking really hard yeah, it looks like no one's in noob corner but there could be a lot of bot back there purple now is fine okay there's purple yeah because purple has to be doing something with their troops from before right yeah purple breaks whatever that's a little annoying but it is what it is, right? Just focus on staying and controlled for ourselves right now. Oh man, this sucks. Like, I think I break blue here. Because I do need to, um... Weaken them a little bit here. Even if it's just one more turn of them not holding Russia, like, they have to be going into me and trying to take my capital, so I do have to slow them down. Really sucky that purple is, was breaking me, too. It would have been really nice to have held, but it is what it is, right? Okay, good. I want white to be leaving troops down there. Slow purple down. If worst case scenario, we can move everything off of this capital. Just give it to purple, move to Denmark. I don't think purple is good. Or multiple attack. We just gotta wait for pink to eventually start attacking white. And then pink white's gonna have to focus on pink. That's gonna be like our play to help us this game. Like purple is now getting 13. Our capitals are just strong enough. But holding two with only getting one bonus is really tough. What is purple doing in Africa? Purple's capped here. Purple is a very good reason to be in Africa. Like blue just gets five. Blue is now gonna clear me out of Russia. But we held blue off for a while, and that's important. That's really important that we are able to do that. The, 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 the stuff that we did with like those troops is really, really good. So I like our investment that we put in that spot. We now have the capital. 
And we got Norse Speed with a follow. Seven more followers to 1,000, ladies and gentlemen. We'll make this a 15. We'll make this a 16, 17. Place the rest down here like this. Now let's go up and attack. That's blue. Knock blue out. Why does pink have a 15 there? Are you kidding me? What? Guys, I've seen everything in this game at this point. White's now getting 18. However, they're literally like a large part of their army is sandwiched between like uh, blue and me. But at the very least, like at least white's like not doing anything crazy. White also has like a stack down here, if remember, right? So that's holding purple back. So purple is just getting one bonus. This is so tense right now. Like the loose cannon right now is pink. Like why did pink leave so many troops there? Like, I guess Pink's gonna get active now and break that. Like, I, I could never have expected Pink to do that because it was such a stupid move to be doing that. But it is what it is. We can't really hold any other bonus. So, our priority right now is we just gotta stay alive. Alright, as, as, as long as these guys aren't breaking our Italy bonus, that's what's important. Blue made a really big mistake not placing extra troops, like, uh, down here. Now purple is going to be like, what WTF is pink doing? The next couple of turns, I'm going to be taking this a little bit more carefully right now. Honestly, I don't think I leave anything else on, on like, uh, Sardinia. Maybe, like, just one or two. My biggest priority is keeping Denmark alive because blue is absolutely going to want to blast into that. We take, we, we're just going to want to take our card. We just got to pump that up as much as possible. Make sure we don't lose that. Because that's basically our strategy. We're not hitting white either. We're being fair to white. Right now, white's the, the, the guy protecting us. Take a card and pass. Place as much possible down on Denmark. Get this up to a 30. Blue card skip from before. See this right here? Blue card skip. Looks like white's blocking them. Looks like white's possibly trying to make a move to knock blue out and take Russia. Pink now trades in. Pink, I have no idea what Pink's doing because Pink has a huge stack here, which is completely idiotic. Alright, so Pink has now taken the one border, London, and Iceland. Purple trades in early. I'm guessing Purple is now taking over West Africa bonus. Eventually, White will be able to knock out Blue, but Blue has like 50-ish or so troops right now. Watching the symbol is Blue attack. No, blue is continuing to skip. You guys can see when I'm not attacking like a crazy lunatic that this is a very, very serious game. Because these are very, very crazy blizzards. And I have the god capital. I can win this in late game. I can absolutely win this late game. I just gotta survive till late game. No, White just said good game. Did they just attack blue and fail? It looks like they just traded and they attacked, and then they just said good game. Pink now gets 19, but Pink also traded in early. Like, these guys are just being passive right now. We're fine with passivity. Like, purple gets 19, and this is fine. Like, we, we're watching... If blue start attacking or not. If blue starts attacking, we, we can knock out blue and we can own the honeypot ourselves. And then we're at a commanding position to take this game. The so blue's still getting 12. The white attack aggressively into blue. Let's check this. Alright. So blue now is, is getting a card. We got to go. Yes. Okay. We absolutely take this shit now. Oh my gosh. That's another capital right there. What? Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> 
Oh my gosh. This is what was going on. That was White's capital. Oh my goodness gracious. We've done it. Ladies and gentlemen. We've done it. We have won border Russia and Scandinavia. We have a 45 on capital. I don't care if we lose this capital. We, we have this the rest of this game. White could be angry and hit us. I don't care. Get angry and smack us, bro. Smack us harder. It's a 25, man. We did it. We did it, man. Oh my gosh. We have the bot capital. We have the blue capital. Because we have four capitals right now. This means the white player, I think, is naked. Because we know purple is here and pink is here. So I'm right now, white and, and, and in both purple and everyone else is being like super ultra passive, right? So the biggest thing that could potentially affect us, like, what are the trade-ins, right? 45. The biggest thing we just need to avoid is... um. I think we actually we want to trade in here. It's absolutely worth it to be trading in. We need to start hitting white. And getting ready to knock them out of this game. Not killing them though. We're not killing them, but they're just getting three. Our 47 should be good enough right now. Because again, pink is shown to be very, very passive. Pink is also blocked off because our big stack is here. Like, I don't really see them going off and attacking. Oh my gosh, this game is a freaking... Uh... Okay, that's pink stack. Pink is now getting active. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, white dies. White dies there. Okay, we, we attacked a little bit too hard. We didn't walk knock white out of the game. So now purple goes, but we still have a crazy, crazy good setup for ourselves. Now in this three-player situation, we want to try to set up a scenario where we can kind of get strong, right? Like purple, pig's been saving up a lot of troops, but we're guaranteed to be holding our bonus now, right? Pink is going to be trading in again. So the most important thing I think um, we can do for ourselves is we have to make sure that we don't die. We can just make this like a 52. But the, really, we got to make this like a 60. We just have to make it so that here. Also, we're going to give a fist pound. Tell Pink, hey man, you can own all this. I'm not touching you. I, I just want to re- Because basically... I think I can beat Pink in the end game, but if both sides are attacking me at once, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. So I'm giving Pink the 25. Like, I can trade in a wild and an emergency, like, uh, when needed for myself. Like, I need this capital to get strong because every turn, I'm getting 25. Like, basically almost, like, uh, guaranteed. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're just chilling. So now in this three-player situation... I need to focus on either one of these players, right? Because there's purple. <gasps> they purple just attacked it to pink. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't believe that just happened. That was a huge mistake by the purple player. We just had to wait a little bit. And now pink is going to be going gung ho. Gung ho into purple. Like purple is trying to take over noob corner. Well, that was way too much of a sacrifice. We're just holding down the fort. We're letting Pink do whatever the heck they want right now. But Pink Tick just took massive, massive damage right now. We know they're trading in. I didn't touch them at all. 
That was a huge swing of troops in our favor to make up for us or slightly over attacking the white player from before. And there we go. The pink player is going into purple, smacking them hard right now. But the thing is, purple and I have a trading zone here. Remember, purple is capped right here, people. Purple will always have West Africa unless I break them. And it looks like pink left their stack like uh, in Rome. <gasps> but purple just trades in again. Oh my gosh. Purple was getting 20 troops right here. How much more is the purple player going to be attacking? The 72 stack. Purple starts breaking us. That's very reasonable. With that, though, we're now getting 34 per turn. In this scenario, we know that pink has, a, I think, a hidden stack right there. That's purple stack. Okay. Purple is there. Let's not go crazy. We're going to wait this out a little bit more. This is a game you have to win right here. We're not going to make any crazy attack. We're not going to do anything out of line. We wait for one of these players to go uh, instead. Yep, pink wants to be our friend. Let's see, 26 troops. Sets are on 70. I think... Yeah, how much is purple going right now? Yeah, purple's the one kind of attacking us a lot here. And they're okay, they're attacking pink. Yeah, yeah, at this point, yeah, they open up. Yeah, pink stack is now open. And yeah, we know that, that uh, they're pissed off. In the spirit of this, here's what we do. We're going to place everything down like this. I want to see how much the um, pink player has. I'm going to point down and be like, I'm going to point like this and be like. And now I'm going to be attacking pink hard here or purple hard here. And now I have the bonus down. Purple has not been keeping up good alliances. I have been keeping up good alliances. I'm at 277 troops. Pink is on about 180 to 190 right now. With being one card in the lead. And purple now is just with 19, right? We are in a very, very good spot right now. Let's see, where does purple go into? They might attack us a little bit, and that's fine if that's the case. You can't, you're not going to break that. It's a 57, bro. You can act like a child. I'll treat you like a child. I'll put big numbers down to stop you. All right. Now, in all seriousness, I can no longer keep this down uh, like this. And yeah, we're smacking this. So how much was purple getting on the prior turn? 19 or so? They have a card there that they're able to take. So that's fine. We're basically pushing our advantage as much as we can into purple to get ready to try to eliminate them. Like purple cannot withstand this. We're using our advantage. Pink, I think, wants to stay a good neighbor with us because I'm basically telling them, hey man, let's just work together. Pink is just saving right now. Well, but while Pink has a very good capital mid game, it's very bad late game. Like purple now is just getting 13 per turn. Question is, could we potentially kill the purple player? Do we have enough troops to be able to do that? If we can kill purple and then get the trade in for ourselves, then we're fine. Then we just take on the pink player in the end game uh, for ourselves. 
problem is if Ping has a trade in, that can make it really tough. So here's what we do here. We need to get some vision to kind of know uh, what's going on here. How much does pink and purple have? 80. We could have possibly killed here, but it could have been very expensive. Then pink could have gotten into the cap run. I'm not opening you up, bro. You can say thanks all you want, but like that's not going to do much for you. I know you're saying thanks, but that doesn't really do uh, too much. As long as Gascony's not opened up. Really, the big danger is the pink player going for a cap run. They can't do it right now. Right now, our stacks are equal because I've been going after purple, but pink's basically saving for that run. You got to be really careful when going for that push right there. Purple does not have the trade-in, though. Purple does not have the trade-in. Okay, that changes the calculation. Changes the calculation, I think, for us. Because now I think it is uh, worth it for us to be killing the purple player for five cards. Like that, I think that is uh, absolutely worth it. Nice, you're even going off capital. I don't think I have enough to kill purple because that, that was what was needed for a guaranteed roll. Mmm, you have to wait a little bit. Yeah, I don't have enough to... Ah. Mm. I don't have time. I was out of time. Small mistake there, but we have to avoid the cap run. That's what was most important there. So purple is now going to go for the kill on the on them. With the sets being on 85, they can lose a little bit more troops right here. They could try to blast us, but that's a little expensive. Yeah, so a pink is gonna purple is pink is gonna be killing like a uh, purple instead. How much do they lose? One hundred. Okay. I could have left one stack up here. Okay. Okay. Now pink can possibly do a double tap. And take this capital away. 175? Eh, it's not guaranteed. Still though, we got pretty good endgame coming up here. We have to be very careful with this. Now Pink's also running out of time. They're running out of time. They're a slow thinker. They gotta go. I, I, I cap run this. I cap run this. They don't hurry up. Oh, they, yeah. They gotta go back to capital. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right, son. So their stack and roll stack right now is actually uh, mostly trapped uh, for themselves. With sets being on 95, they only have Orient right now that uh, they're able to use. Okay, here's what we do here. Oh, gosh. Mm, wow, I was not expecting them to have a 157 down. Wow, okay. They yeah, have more troops than I thought. Kill. So I'm on 373. They're one card ahead. And I'm on 300. However, they only have one border Orient. I have one border Russia and Scandinavia. Okay. Yeah, that's where they put the trade. That's where we're thinking about going right now. Okay. Yeah, so they're attacking pretty good right now. They're doing a pretty good job with, like, uh, breaking through um, all of this. But they block off most of their capitals now. They block off most of their capitals. 
We want to try to keep our Rhine spot available for ourselves if we can. We need to pr prioritize breaking as much as we can uh, around the board. Let's do that. Should not have opened up the 10. That was a small mistake. This is an epic game. The pinkest nut gets 22 per turn. Plus the 95. So they trade in, but we get the second round of trade in. So we get the momentum advantage against them. We also can go off capital once to attack. They cannot do that. I think they're putting a lot down on capital right now, and that's a mistake. They're a little slow with attacking like uh, as well right now, and we can capitalize on that. Had to use our wild there. It's fine. So we've managed to attack through a lot right here. We have no set. But again, we have our 138 that's available. The set bonus is being on 105. Basically, pink's getting the, ma the minimum amount of like 18 right here. We may want to consider... Yes, I, I think we may want to consider blocking off our capital here. Because I don't think pink has the uh, speed to card block us in one move. I think we do a full... Oil Ocean strategy and test them, I think we would be okay here. Yeah, I, I think um, we want to get into a situation where we want to be taking over more of the board. We got to go fast. We have a speed advantage over pink. We're going to make the decision to block off our capital. We have a set here. So we have a full advantage of the board right now to eventually take them out and then take this game. For everyone watching on YouTube at the moment, you know it's been a little more cautious. These are super rare blizzards, so I'm not going my normal crazy style of attacking. And there we go. This is how I play if I'm playing on my main account for the ladder. This is how I would play in very, very serious games. This type of style that I am doing will guarantee a victory because I know I can beat them. I'm Kimmel off with the follow. Thank you so much. Because right now I'm getting a huge lead in troops and I'm slowly constricting the pink player down. Like they're trading in, but like uh, I just gain, I'm gaining troop advantage on them. They're not, they can't go fast enough on me. I have a speed advantage. They're hoping to get a set on three and then retake this. Like they're getting attacker's advantage. But yeah, they lost 21 right there. That was, that was not crazy good advantage for them. We just need to force them to go off capital. And then we can card block them and then take this. Now we can see. Now pig's mostly blocked off. Because of what I've done, right? I have the speed advantage over them. And I have a set on three. Pink has one card. Uh, yeah, or they start attacking, like, off into here. 
And because I have most of the board now, I'm getting a lead in advantage in troops. They took it. Yeah, they, they're attacking like that way. It's like now, look what I'm doing, right? I'm going to start putting troops down like this. And I'm going to keep up the block on them. And now look what I'm doing. Now, like, they're almost fully blocked off. They can only attack their one card here in Melia, and then they're in a lot of trouble. You can see because of the way the sets are. Like, I want... I'll, 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 let, I'll let them attack Gijel, because then I can get extra troops to attack Rabalik. Now they're trading on a four because they have to. And they, and they attack the freaking orange bot. They're panicking. They're panicking right now. They just wasted their troops. They're wasting it. They just went off capital. They went off capital right here. And they're self-destructing because they realize that they've lost. Oh, let's go. We're winning with one border, Russia and Scandinavia, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, they're giving up. What an incredible game. These blizzards are a beauty. Yeah, so it looks like we cannot world dom them. So out of respect to them doing an amazing game, we're going to end this now. Good game. Well played. Absolutely incredible game right there. Very serious olive wears with very serious blizzards. This is Olive XC signing off.